What are you looking at? Oh, the silent majesty of a winter's morn, the clean, cool chill of the holiday air, and an asshole in his bathrobe emptying a chemical toilet into my sewer. Alright, so this is my review for Girl. It uh, came out this year uh, in, I believe, last month it uh, uh, came out. Or maybe, yeah, it came out last month. Um, and uh, it stars Bella Thorne. Um, I thought she did a good job. I, did, I, I knew the name, but I didn't know her face. I still kind of don't because they did something for hair and I kind of don't, I don't really recognize her. Um, but I, I thought she did a really good job of acting. There were some spotty spot, uh, some spotty spots in there. Tongue twister. Um, but, uh, not much. Um, there, there's a part in there that kind of reminds me a little too much of, uh, Kristen Stewart's acting, but it's a small part. Um, but what the story of this is, is a girl goes on a rampage in a small town, um, after her... After the people who tortured her father that she hasn't seen for years and um, you, you, you see what these towns, I mean, I look, I grew up in a small town and uh, I, I don't recall it being the typical what you see in these small towns where there's like dirty, um, sleazy looking people. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, maybe I was just too young to remember that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, as if in a small town anymore, but that's what you get with this. You get a lot of uh, really dirty looking, sleazy kind of redneck people. Um, you know, the hair and uh, just cut off and stuff. It, it just looks like they're kind of really like rednecky kind of small town people. And obviously, there's only like, from what I could tell, there was only like uh, seven or eight. Um, people in this town um about and I, I i i could be guessing a little off um but this movie it it's uh i i saw the trailer for this and i wasn't sold i i, I avoided it for a week um but i started to check it out it has good reviews so i thought you know maybe i'll check it out uh it's trying to check out another video today and it was this really horrible vacuum he had nickels cage and it's one of his new ones it's kind of an alien predator kind of thing um you won't get a video review for that it was i was painful to watch um but yeah, I, I got this kind of, I thought it was like a martial arts or something thrown in there type of thing. It, 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 whoever did the trailer did a really bad job of it. Um, but this, this, this does come off as a, a, uh, uh, a non-Hollywood homemade type of movie with a good budget type of filming. Um, the filming though, it, it uh, photography was a little a little shaky at some spots but for the mo for other than that I uh, it was it was pretty steady um, the camera quality was definitely in the middle um, it wasn't really bad the audio was this perfect perfect um, there this the writing I I definitely did enjoy the writing of this it was a little bit slow but um, you know, it kept me going, just more interested in it. Um, but there's definitely some some stuff that could be worked on. Like, right after you get in the credits, you there's literally no lead up to her being on the bus. They literally explain it a little bit here and there. But they don't even show any shots to the back. Uh, you know, ba uh, past shots or anything. They just uh, let you leave, let you believe what you want to believe and then then they kind of fill you in later on um, but yeah she's on the bus and she's going there she has a hatchet so she's going on with this hatchet uh, apparently this hatchet is a momentum for or she got it from her father when she was six and you know and um uh there was a, a scene in here 
that I I, I kind of seen a couple of mo some movies like this and Hollywood tends to do this. You know, these small budget films is where they take this character that does not at all seem like it would be a a over top special off bad ops type of thing. You know, that type of movement and killing. I was afraid they were going to do that with her at a point, but then they just actually, it just turned out they made her a, um, a, a normal young person or a normal person who has full, it's full of a lot of anger and revenge and a lot of, uh, you know, just want to harm. And, and then, then along with, uh, put in, uh, the try to, the, Keep alive a momentum, a momentum of uh, of um, of uh, you know just wanting to live, um, you know, flight or flight is what it is, and um, you know she she was I want to say badass, uh, didn't even clear that, but she definitely wasn't w really wimpy. Um, uh, definitely some of that over the done whimpering type of thing i don't know is that really a thing let me in the comments um i don't know i don't hang around with a lot of people um and um i don't know is it hollywood type of thing you get or what i don't know um again let me in the comments there, there's another whole like, Thing in here they did is you, you ever get annoyed after after these years now these days where in a uh, where uh, someone's captured and they all, all the people just leave them alone and they always this coincidentally end up with something that they can uh, break out of the handcuffs or cut their um, plastic handcuffs I forgot what they're called um, you know it, it's they did that and as uh, and easily it's like that why why are we still doing that in films uh it's been they've been doing that for so long and it, it's honestly at the point where it kind of bothers me a little it's it's just getting it's got a real old that old trope maybe we could just maybe hollywood should just you know try something new um and i know i know that there's actual ways in real life you can get out of certain stuff like that but it, it wasn't like that it was like she had a little grinder that he was torturing her with and she was able to get it and cut it but either way they left her alone i don't understand that but it's not like that big of a deal um th there's definitely a really stupid part in here and it's towards the end and um so she's has a axe not a hatchet but an axe and she throws it. The other guy has a gun. He fires a bullet. And the ha the axe meets halfway. And the bullet hit it and ricocheted off. Um, if you know anything about physics, that's not realistic. And that's like on the stream of really stupid. And then it hits him. So, you know, it's like I figured it was going to hit him before she gets hit by the bullet. Even though in the real world, that's not a real thing. And again, I want to make this clear. I, I, I don't. I, that's being a little bit anal on this, but I, there is a point in movies like look at the Fast and Furious movies where they go way too far with the, uh, the past the logic of stuff, and that's where it goes. And this doesn't necessarily go there. It's just something, one of those things that you would see in the 80s or 70s or something where it's like back when they had really cheap type of uh, stuff of, uh, of uh, actions in the writing. Um, but I, I did, I did, uh, it was a little different, but I did enjoy it. I, I, I did enjoy it. I didn't feel myself fully bored. Just a little bit spots in there. Uh, I wouldn't watch it again. It's one of those type of films that it was good to watch it once. And it was, I'm glad that I saw it. Um, but I wouldn't watch it again. Um, but I do recommend it to you guys. Uh, for me, I would definitely give this four and a, out of five uh, axes for this. It was definitely a it will a good a good decent film. You know, uh, if it again, it strikes me as something that uh, a someone like on YouTube would make or something. And you you get me saying that a lot because there's that's what the references is compared to those to Hollywood. Honestly, in my opinion. 
a lot of these uh, films that are made on YouTube, on these U big YouTube channels that are wanting to get into film and they're getting a big budget are actually way better than a lot of most of these what we get in Hollywood these days. You know, a lot of the stuff is overused. Yeah, they use some of the stuff in here. I mean, in these films on, uh, on YouTube and stuff and Patreon and, you know, GoFundMe. But, uh, I, I mean, again, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, I think those more of those are more better. Just along with the horror films, which I love, even though I'm not a horror fan, compared to Hollywood. But let me know in the comments what if you agree with me. What do you think? Do you, uh, have you seen this movie? That That's really all I got to say. Um, and um, uh, I hope you all have a good day. And uh, I love you all. And it's cool.